Well, today the message is welcome home Australia. From the 1st of November for fully vaccinated people, quarantine will no longer be required. That's not hotel quarantine, that's not home quarantine. You'll be able to return home if you're a person from another country who wants to visit or work in Australia and you're fully vaccinated, you'll be able to come to Australia and not have to quarantine. Uh, we know from the 1st of November our vaccination rates are going to be incredibly high across this uh, city and across this state and we want to be able to say to the world that we treat everyone equally and if you're fully vaccinated you can come and engage in this wonderful state. We will be working closely with the Commonwealth in making sure that pre-departure PCR tests are undertaken and the Commonwealth will be verifying every single person's vaccination status before they access a flight. We're taken this decision with two weeks lead time to allow airlines and the Commonwealth to start uh, to put on extra flights and put those processes in place for people who are fully vaccinated. If you are not vaccinated, you will still need to quarantine and that quarantine uh, will be capped at 210 people a week. This clearly prioritises fully vaccinated people returning to Australia and coming here for work and for leisure. This is a huge pickup for our tourism industry. It's a huge pickup for our economy. And it's a really clear signal to Australians who have had to operate overseas in a really constrained aviation market that we're removing those barriers and allowing you to come home. Oh, good morning, everyone. Uh, look, eight months ago, we started the vaccination program here in New South Wales. Uh, I've stood before you previously and said that we would do everything we can to make sure everyone in New South Wales had the opportunity to be vaccinated. Uh, that work is not over. Uh, we continue on, but I am so pleased to be able to say uh, that over the weekend, we will pass that milestone of 80% uh, double dose for our adult population. Uh, we're already over 91% uh, first dose. Uh, it has been a remarkable effort by so many people, our health staff, our GPs, our pharmacists, everyone who has come forward in our community to get vaccinated, and they're still coming, most importantly. Uh, so we look forward to continuing. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of questions at the moment about when the uh, third doses will occur. Um, what I can tell you is when they do occur and our, when the Otago gives its advice, we'll be ready to assist with that uh, and look forward to getting those third doses uh, into our community as quickly as we possibly can. Thank you. Well, ultimately, this is about today we're announcing for um, taking New South Wales to the world. Uh, from uh, from 1 November. So from 1 November, these dates will all marry up. Um, and for those that are fully vaccinated, uh, New South Wales says we welcome home uh, every Australian overseas. We want tourism back. We want people back into work and, make, and, and get our economy moving. And that's what today's announcement is all about. But ultimately, when... Uh, we, you know, we've got to weigh up the health advice, the economic advice, and the elected officials make a call. Premier. And uh, as the Deputy Premier said, it was a it was a long meeting. It was a robust discussion, and it, it was a difficult it was a difficult decision to make. Uh, but ultimately, we've got to make calls to ensure we keep communities safe uh, as we open up. And uh, when we see the vaccination rates in Sydney higher than they are in regional New South Wales, it's a couple of weeks. It's two weeks. I know it's going to create uh, some inconvenience. We've provided some additional financial support for those businesses in regional New South Wales. I know there'll be different views on this, uh, but. Ultimately, I believe where the uh, the cabinet landed is the right call moving.